So Luke, welcome to the shots. Thank you. Finally signed, you must be delighted to have done so. Yeah, it's, it's been a while coming. Um, it's been in the works for a few weeks now, but now I'm finally home. I'm glad to put pen to paper and um, be a shots player. And from your own mouth, what kind of player are you? It's always interesting to hear it from the player themselves. Um, yeah, I think the fans can expect an aggressive player, someone who's willing to like, stop goals from going in, obviously. Being in a centre-back, uh, that's, that's what I pride myself on. Um, I like to put my head where it hurts. I like to score score goals, to keep them out. Um, I like to play football as well, pass it out. And yeah, just, uh, just to play some good, nice, attractive football for the fans to enjoy. And after a great season last year, you know, there was a few rumours flying around. It seems you were very highly, highly thought of and sought after this summer. So what was it that stood out for you in, in, in choosing the shots? Yeah, I think after the first conversation with Tommy and, and Jamie, it was very clear to me where I wanted to go. Um, even with with all the um, sort of attention elsewhere, I just felt appreciated and wanted by the club, which I think is the most important thing to me. And I want to feel, I want to play football where I want to be appreciated in itself. So, yeah, I, I, it was a quick decision for me. There was no sort of delay to it. But yeah, unfortunately, it took a while because I was on holiday. But now I'm back. Um, yeah, it was a, it was an easy choice. Speaking about that breakthrough season in a bit more detail, I mean, firstly. You were in the England C squad, obviously most of the, the, that squad, including our very own Ollie Harfield, comes from the National League. So to have done so in the National League South, you, you must have been really highly thought of by Paul Fairclough. And, and what was that experience like for you? Yeah, to be fair, it was unexpected for me because obviously I, I did, it's my first league time in non-league, so first full season anyway. So I, I didn't really know much about it. Obviously, I thought it was more of a National League thing. So to get yeah. to get the call up and there only be a couple from our division, it was, um, it was a real privilege um, and honour. More for my like for me and my family, both yeah. of us. So yeah, it's a really good experience. I loved every minute of it. Got to meet a lot of lot of lads and understand the difference in the leagues. Um, so I feel like it was, a, it was a great great opportunity for us. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed our time. And you were part of a very successful Chelmsford side. They obviously got their highest points total, highest ever league finish. That that, that must have been really great for you to push on and show your own game. Yeah, at Chelmsford it was an unbelievable season. I can't speak a bad word about anyone to do with the club or the club itself. Um, it was a great change room, great environment to be in. And yeah, I feel like when you have a great environment and you get along with everyone involved, you just naturally play well together and you do stuff that the club haven't done before, which was obviously finish as high as we did and get as many points as we did as well. So yeah, it was a great season and hopefully I could, we can do it again this season and push on. And you briefly touched on it just earlier about how you were in the Football League. You came for AFC Wimbledon. You had a handful of appearances there, didn't you, in, in the Football League? And to be then released, was that maybe a bit of a setback for you? Yeah, I feel like once I'd made my debut and I scored against Barrow away, I'd had a few good games. Um, it was unexpected, but at the same time, the way that it's gone now and the belief I have and confidence I have in myself, I wouldn't have asked for it to go in any other way because now I have a real mindset about myself as in nothing's going to stand in my way and I'm really driven to get where back where I want to be. Exactly, you're still young, 21 years old, a very, very bright future ahead of you. So are you excited now to push on? The 1st of July is when we're back to the pre-season. Is, is that a, going to be an exciting day for you? Yeah, I can't wait. It's, it's going to feel like a long time for me, but as soon as the 1st of July hits, and especially when the first game of the season comes, I'll be ready and I can't wait to, um, to show everyone here what, what I'm about and hopefully get the club back, uh, back in the Football League.